Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your 2016 yearly overview readings. This is for Pisces. Um, Pisces, I'm very happy to report that you should have a pretty fabulous year. Um, we should have a pretty fabulous year. I'm a Pisces also, so this is very exciting for me as well. Um, okay, so this is a year of personal growth professional growth. This is a year of you becoming who you are meant to be or coming closer to becoming who you're meant to be, okay? Um, rediscovering yourself, okay, I, I guess is what I would say. But it's a whole big adventure from beginning to end, okay? So um, I hope you enjoy it. I hope I enjoy it. Um, so let's just get into it. January, we have the Page of Pentacles. So in January, um, you will receive some very positive communication, very positive news when it comes to um, anything to do with money or the way you make money. Um, so that could be your job, your career or a personal project or a personal business. Um, you will receive an offer or an invitation. Um, this is anything from a job offer, a promotion, an offer for you to be transferred to a different department, better pay, better job. Um, this is an offer that will help you progress in your career or your money-making endeavors. Okay, this is also um, very positive news when it comes to um, scholarships, when it comes to studies. So if you're thinking of going back to school, this is more, most likely you will go back to school or, or you will do a lot of studying, okay? Um, you are pursuing stability and security, okay? So whatever that means for you, uh, whatever brings you stability and security, you are studying up on it, okay? On how you can improve your skills, your talents, your um, expand your knowledge okay um, this is also learning okay so you could be learning new things that could be on the job that could be um, about yourself that could be in school okay but this is um, a very good stepping stone for um, a stable and secure and happy future okay so I hope you get some very good offers in January. In February we have the Chariot card and the Chariot card is progress, it is career advancement, okay, it is um, moving forward in a positive way, okay, that is what the Chariot is. So this is, you are very inspired um, and very driven and very focused on your plan, on moving forward, on going where you want to go, okay? Um, this is also success coming in for you as a result of this determination that you have. You just charge ahead, okay? There are no obstacles in your way. You encounter no issue, no problem, nothing to hold you back. You are very driven, very focused, very well prepared, nothing phases you, okay? And as a result, um, people appreciate you, they value you, value your work, okay, and you should receive credit, um, positive feedback, positive uh, references, recommendations, uh, offers, for promotion, advancement, um, very, very quickly, okay? And this is you just, again, just being very focused, just seeing things clearly and focusing on your path, not allowing for distractions, okay? But it is success and definitely movement forward, okay? In March, we have the World card. And this is a very positive card to have in your reading. And another major arcana card, okay? So 
the world card is all about completion endings and beautiful positive endings and beautiful positive new beginnings okay um so this could be you complete a project successfully you complete a task su successfully and that um just pushes you forward pushes you up the ladder if you will um this could also be you complete a phase or a cycle you complete a, s a phase of study and are now ready to take the opportunities that that brings you're prepared okay um, this is it could be the end of pregnancy you give birth at this time or someone around you gives birth okay um, this is the end of a cycle okay so the end of a phase in your life and you're beginning a new phase okay the the next phase the next stage in your life or in your career or in your relationships or in your personal development you are coming into your own you've learned a lot okay this has been a, a long time this has been a very big lesson for some of you um, and you finally learned it okay and now the universe is giving you um, the next big opportunity okay so this can be anything really it will depend on each of your situations because it's a general reading it will be something different for everyone but it is the positive ending the successful ending of one stage one phase and the beautiful new beginning of another okay of the next step the next level okay so this is celebrations parties um, acclamations feeling confident feeling proud feeling like you are on top of the world okay so definitely enjoy that in April we have the Emperor so I see this as being you in April you are very much in charge or still in charge still in control of your own life your own career your artistic projects your creative projects the Emperor is someone who makes plans but his plans are more more like goals a to-do list to reach your goal okay there is no if with the emperor once he sets his mind on something he will get it he will accomplish it um, this is a very very strong foundation okay so whether this is in your work it will be in your career for a lot of you I have to say And for some of you, it can be in your personal relationships or your family relationships where you have this strong foundation, where you feel strong and secure in your relationship and making plans for the future or looking at what your next step is. The Emperor is the man with the plan, okay? He knows what he wants, he knows how to get it, and he's going for it okay there is no doubt there is no second thought there is no need for guidance or counsel or anything he knows what he's doing so I feel like this is you okay you're very powerful at this time you have a lot of um, self-confidence inner strength and you're, s you're very very focused on your goals um, you may have some kind of conversations or negotiations with your bosses uh, if you do these will go in your favor so if you're asking for a raise, if you're asking for a promotion, if you're asking for um, a transfer to a better job um, in April you will get it as long as you put pen to paper prepare your case be logical and confident 
when presenting your case. And by that I mean why you're asking for what you're asking or telling them why you think they should grant what you're asking. Okay? Have a plan, cover all your bases and they'll just have to say yes. Okay? So that's April. May we have the High Priestess. And I feel like this is learning a lot of new things, okay, for some of you, for a lot of you. This is learning new things. So if this is to do with your career, maybe you got the job, you got the promotion, you got the transfer, and now you're learning um, about the new job. You are learning about your coworkers, you're learning about the dynamics of the department, of the team, of the company. Um, this is gaining a lot of knowledge in a short amount of time. Uh, you're very intuitive, very open to receiving information, okay, and it will flow to you very easily. This is you becoming very wise, okay, this is you learning a lot about the situation that you're in, for example, new job. You learn a lot about your new job, you learn a lot about how the team works, how the company works and you learn this very quickly and so you're able to start turning things around in your favor or you're able to say the right things to the right people to get them to approve what you need approving or to get them to invest in your ideas or your projects or you okay you learn to speak their language very quickly let's put it that way so this is you expanding your knowledge, expanding your skills, your talents, listening to your intuition, doing what your gut tells you to do. And again, you're very strong, okay? You feel very balanced. You have a vision. And you're moving forward towards that vision, okay? This is, could also be a time where you focus on your spirituality. So the learning and the studying that you do has to do with um, spirituality, okay? Anything from uh, yoga to tarot to um, learning about dreams or anything of that nature. Or how to expand your um, spirituality, if we can say that, okay? Working on your spiritual body, your spiritual self, okay? June we have the Knight of Wands so this is very um, positive this is very fiery energy this is progress this is moving forward this is again overcoming all obstacles nothing stands in your way um, things are moving forward very quickly um, this could be again a new offer or an offer for a new project or a new task or a new job um, for some of you, this is travel coming in, travel for work or travel for holidays. Um, some of you could be traveling to foreign lands or overseas. You're very inspired and you have this drive, okay? This entire year, you have this drive and this focus of knowing what you want and going for it, okay? You are very atypical for a Pisces, okay, um, this year, because you're so much focused, uh, so much more focused than usual, so much more driven than usual, you're making things happen as opposed to being passive, which is um, what Pisces are most of the times, okay, we allow for things to happen, we allow for things to be what they will be, we have faith that things will work out, um, but we rarely make things happen for ourselves we are rarely the emperor energy okay so in um june this is again travel this is progress in career or um your creative projects or money making ideas um this could be a change of residence for some of you where you buy a house or you move into a new house or um you rent a house um, this is this could also be someone coming in to sweep you off your feet so it could be that 
although there are not a lot of love cards in your reading if I'm honest but this being a general reading it can be anything really so it can be someone coming in to sweep you off your feet but with the knight of wands you need to pay attention um, and don't allow yourself to fall in love too quickly because he's very um, here today and gone tomorrow okay so in and out uh, of your lives July we have the ace of wands and the Ace of Wands is a new beginning, a new task, a new project, a new job, a new endeavor, a new career for some of you. You're changing your career. Um, you are following your inspiration, following your intuition. This is um, a new endeavor that allows you to use your skills and your personal talents, whatever makes you unique. Okay. Um... This will also take off the ground very quickly, okay? This has a lot of momentum, a lot of energy behind it. So whatever creative project, you could be turning a creative project into a money-making um, idea. So it could be that you're using your personal skills and talents and turning that into a business somehow okay but this is new beginning very positive energy expansion growth okay this is just an explosion of creativity and um, energy to push you forward okay and push you towards success and richness and abundance okay this is prosperity coming in for you in August we have the nine of pentacles and the nine of pentacles is the card of the self-made man or the self-made woman so it could be that you start your own business and it's already starting to pay off like I said with the eight of pentacles it will take off very very quickly okay and you're already seeing the fruits of your labor and you're already very content with where you are and um, a lot more is coming, okay, more rewards, more um, returns on your investment, more uh, money coming in, more success, more prosperity, more uh, good reputation. Okay, so sometime around August you are taking a breath, okay, it's all been go, go, go until now you've been driven you've been focused um, and sometime around August the results are coming in okay the uh, fruits of your labor are coming in so you allow yourself to take a break and um, enjoy the fruits of your label uh, labor and look at everything you've accomplished and be grateful for it and feel proud for it okay so this is success, prosperity, money coming in. It could be love coming in for some of you if that's what you're looking for. Um, this is a time when you celebrate yourself. Okay, so you focus on yourself for a while. Um, this is luxury, okay, you focus on your luxury. It could be that you uh, buy things beautiful things, expensive things, you invest in your appearance, you invest in your wardrobe, you um, buy furniture if that's what you like, you redecorate the house, you make everything more beautiful around you, okay, you are using um, some of the resources that are coming in for you or increasing for you to give yourself a treat basically as you should, okay, so enjoy your success definitely and this will be for a lot of you from your own business okay you will be self-employed this year okay a lot of you or owning your own business or um, just doing your own thing okay not an, a regular nine-to-five job or you could do a, a 9 to 5 job in parallel to your own business, okay? But you will start to see a lot more um, rewards coming in from your own uh, your own project, your own business, okay? 
September we have the Two of Swords. So in September you will be faced with a decision um, that you may not want to make or may not want to make just yet. Uh, you may be pulled in two different directions. You're not sure what to do. You're not sure which way to go. Uh, with the Two of Swords coming in, it's telling you to march to the beat to the beat of your own drum. Okay, so do what feels authentic to you. Do what brings you closer to who you are. So if you have to choose between uh, keeping your nine to five job as well as your um, money making idea or your business or just letting go of 95 9 to 5 and just focusing on your business um, I would say focus on your business okay do what is closer to you do what feels right for you for who you are okay um, so it, it can be anything really with the two of swords okay it's a crossroad um, and this is a decision that you didn't expect to have to make this early for some of you or this soon um, and so you're not ready for it and you feel like pushing it back um, and delaying it but you really need to make a decision okay in September and again the key is to do what brings you closer to your truth to do what brings you closer to who you are okay in October we have the Four of Cups and the Four of Cups is the card of um, potentially missing opportunities because we feel bored or discontent with the things in our lives at this time okay um, or it could be that we're focused on everything we've accomplished um, and we feel like we feel a bit bored with everything we've accomplished okay and so we may miss an opportunity because we're not in that frame of mind of looking out for new things or looking for new opportunities around us okay we're focused on the past when we should be focused on um, our future what we want in our future because we will receive opportunities okay in October there will be at least one opportunity extended to us um, and again that can be in your career, in your home life, your relationships, um, personal growth, whatever it is for you. You will be presented with an opportunity, a very good opportunity. The key is for you to, to see it. Okay, so keep your eyes open in October. Um, keep the upbeat energy that you have um, shown throughout the year okay don't allow yourself to go back to um, watery energy where you don't really do anything where you're passive okay keep up um, the momentum keep up this creative energy that has been um, with you throughout the year and you will see this wonderful new opportunity presented to you in October in November we have the two of pentacles so this is another decision you have to make. Um, this is, it can be choosing between two jobs, two projects. For some of you, you are re revisiting. For some of you, you have pushed the Two of Swords decision. You've delayed it. And now in November, you have to make it. You have to make a choice, okay? Um, so it could be that you've taken your time and not made the decision in September for some of you and in November you're making this decision, you're making the ch this choice uh, you could be choosing between two jobs, two career, two projects two cities, two relationships, two people, anything just a choice between two okay for a lot of us and again think about your long-term future okay with the infinity, infinity sign in the card. Think about your long-term future. Think about what would make you happy and accomplished in the long run. Okay? Um, this could also be a busy time for you where you have to do a lot of things at the same time or you have to juggle a lot of um, tasks or responsibilities or projects at the same time. And the key with the Two of Pentacles is to keep a positive attitude, keep an upbeat attitude about it 
and that way you will be able to accomplish everything and to um, keep everything going okay don't drop the ball on anything in December you end the year with the star card okay so I feel like you are being enlightened in December you feel you have found your purpose your calling for some of you okay this is a wish coming true for you in December so whatever that is for you it's coming true so think big don't hold yourself back believe in yourself believe in your dreams because they're coming to reality okay they, they are becoming reality this is also a lot of healing this is letting go of the old and moving forward um, in the belief that you are finally on the right path that you are finally doing what you're meant to do okay that's beautiful beautiful energy the overall energy of 2016 we have the page of Gabriel and that's another wands card okay this is the page of wands in the traditional tarot and the page of Gabriel says here we go follow your passion you are ready for any challenge opportunities for excitement and adventure so again follow your passion you a lot of you will find your calling this year okay listen to it follow it listen to your intuition it is at its peak this year you will have a lot of opportunities for new and positive things in your life okay for adventures again the thing is keep this attitude going and don't fall back into watery energy feeling bored feeling discontent okay be adventurous think big okay don't hold yourself back think outside the box do things you haven't done before make things happen okay be the emperor make things happen take charge of situations okay travel if you have the opportunity definitely that will bring you a lot of insight a lot of knowledge okay be energetic optimistic be playful this year okay you'll be very very inspired so make sure you keep up that momentum you, you keep that energy going okay overall advice we have Barnabas and the Prince and this is just beautiful because the card says adventures discovery travel meeting destiny okay so it ties in the entire reading very very beautifully okay this is a time for adventure for you discovery you will discover a lot about yourself you will discover this passion this calling okay you will meet your destiny you will finally feel like you're on the right path like you're doing what you're meant to be doing because you will discover this vocation this calling travel will um, contribute to your personal growth very very much okay and I'm getting actual travel but also travel with the mind if that makes sense so meditation prayer lots and lots of it will expand your mind okay and your capabilities your skills your talents but a lot of you will be meeting your destiny this year okay so you will discover your vocation your calling um, what you are meant to be doing on this earth okay it looks like a lot of adventures are awaiting you in 2016 uh, it looks like an absolutely beautiful year you're gonna have to let me know how it goes you're let me, uh, gonna have to let me know if these cards apply to you and how they apply to you in your situation but it's absolutely beautiful okay it it got me all excited um, and I hope you have this magnificent adventure 
in 2016, okay? And I thank you for being here with me, and I will talk to you soon. Take care.